You can definitely feed your baby both formula and breast milk, but there's a few things that you need to know for you to meet your goals. Are you ready? Let's go. Be confident and successful in your breastfeeding journey. <laughs> there are so many reasons why a mom might be feeding her baby both formula and breast milk. It could be because you feel like your milk supply is low or you're unsure if your supply is great. It could be that you're going back to work soon and it's just not feasible to be pumping at work. Or maybe you're just totally stressed out. Whatever the reason is, let me know in the comments and maybe there's some things I can tell you and suggest that may help you in your situation. It could be that you're just choosing to use both and that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you want to continue to produce breast milk, at least in part, there's some things that you need to know. In the first three weeks after baby's born, this is the time that you are establishing your milk supply. If you're not able to get this established in this time, it will be so much harder down the road to try to increase your milk supply. So even if you're not latching baby, if you're needing to use formula at this point, maybe baby's not gaining enough weight and your doctor wants you to use formula, that's okay, but you still need to do what you can to establish your milk supply. It's really hard those first few weeks, but it's like riding a bicycle. And if you can get going up that hill as hard as it is, it will go so much smoother. Your milk supply will be better if you can get that up there in those first three weeks. If you're wanting to get back to fully breastfeeding or mostly breastfeeding, I do have a video called Increasing My Milk Supply and Weaning Off a of Formula, and I'll link it right here that you can check that one out. In the first three weeks of establishing your milk supply, you need to pump at least as often as baby eats. So anytime baby gets a supplement bottle, you need to be pumping. And when I say supplement, I mean formula, donor milk, or milk that's been previously pumped by you more than 24 hours ago. So if baby gets anything in a bottle, you need to be pumping. Now, if that's formula that baby gets in a bottle, then formula stays in baby's tummy a little longer, takes a little longer for them to digest, so you will need to pump a little more often if they're getting formula. I'm not saying formula is bad, it just works differently and you need to know and understand the difference. Once you get past that first three weeks of establishing your milk supply, and now you're just wanting to give formula bottles here and there, that's okay, but if you can, it's best to be consistent. So if you decide to give a formula bottle once a day, make it a consistent time. Your body will make more milk by what gets taken out and at about that time. So if you are wanting to give a formula bottle, try to keep it at the same time maybe at one o'clock every day or three o'clock every day. Keep that same time so that your body will know when you want to make more milk. If you try to give the supplement bottle at in early morning one day and late in the evening at the next, your body won't know when to make more milk and it will start decreasing your supply. If your baby tends to eat about every two to two and a half hours, when you add formula in, that will change how often baby will eat. I just don't want you to think there must be something wrong with my breast milk because baby wants to nurse or have breast milk every two hours, maybe even every one hour. And when I give formula, baby is satisfied for three hours. It's just again that breast milk and formula work differently in a baby's body and breast milk is digested so much faster that baby just needs to eat again because it's burned up and utilized so quickly and so completely. Now when you start using formula, baby will change not only how often they eat, but they'll also uh, have larger poopy diapers and it will change in color and it'll even change in smell. If you're wanting to give your baby formula, say during the day while you're at work or you're busy, that's fine, but just know that on the weekends then, if you're not pumping as often as baby would be eating, then your milk supply will go down at that time of the day. So if you're just formula feeding during the day and then it comes around to a weekend and you want to nurse baby, your supply will be lower. And during that time, baby could probably still nurse just fine if you've just occasionally given a bottle during the week, but baby will want to nurse way more often. And you'll know baby's getting enough as long as you always count baby's wet diapers. If baby has six or more wet diapers every 24 hours, you know they're getting enough. 
Anytime that you change, that you want to increase or decrease formula or breast milk, you need to do it slowly, if at all possible. So if you've decided to start adding more formula and you're not wanting to pump in place of it, you want to permanently add that formula, try to go slowly. You may still need to pump a little bit so you don't get engorged and end up getting a clogged duct or, and go on to mastitis. So go slowly. If you want to increase breastfeeding and wean off a of formula, again, you may need to go slowly or you may need to offer the breast much more often then baby would have had a bottle. If you're adding in pumping to keep your supply up, sometimes pumping alone isn't enough and you need to add stimulation. When baby's at the breast, the way their mouth moves is different. A pump just pulls the milk out, but baby's mouth, their tongue, and their mouth moves differently, so it stimulates your breast differently. Plus, baby's mouth on your breast, their saliva is actually absorbed into your breast, telling your body to make more milk. Having baby touch you skin to skin when they're nursing uh, tells your body to make more breast milk. It releases the hormones prolactin and oxytocin to get the milk moving. That's why sometimes we need to add that a little bit extra stimulation by adding breast massage and quite a bit of massage all around your breast before you pump, sometimes five or 10 minutes of massage and then do your pumping. Adding heat and massage can help too. Breastfeeding is not an all or nothing thing. Once you get your supply established, you can make it work however fits best in your life. Some moms nurse baby just in the morning or, and at night, and some just at night, so you do what works best for you. No matter how you feed your baby, your baby loves you. And even if you're feeding baby with a bottle, no matter if it's formula, breast milk, or donor milk, your baby is fed and that's the most important thing, and you can still bond with baby holding a bottle. If this has been helpful, can you give me a quick thumbs up? I want to help you to do what's best for you and your baby. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot, Mommy. You got this.